Hi, my name is Brian Whitmer. I'm one of the co-founders at Instructure, and I want to show you some of the features of the Canvas Speed Grader tool. So let's log into Canvas as a teacher. What you'll see first is the user dashboard. On the left is all the communication that's going on inside of a course, and on the right you'll see events for the course and then also actionable items. So this teacher still needs to grade three submissions for the paper one assignment. We can click right here and go straight to the speed grader, but before we do that, let's go look at some of the settings for the assignment. So this assignment is a written assignment. Students are supposed to write about something they feel they can share insights about. The teacher, if we look in the settings, has specified that students can turn in the assignment as a file upload, or they can just type it using the Canvas Rich Text Editor, or they can provide a URL to somewhere else on the internet where they have completed the assignment. Also at the bottom you can see the rubric for this assignment. The teacher has specified exactly how the assignment is going to be graded, uh, so students know what to expect before they turn in even. So let's jump straight to the speed grader. What you'll see is at a single glance the teacher has access to uh, every student's submission, uh, the conversations around those submissions and the student's grade. So Bill Blend has turned in a Word document for this assignment and we've taken that Word document and converted it to Flash so the teacher can preview it right here inside of inside of the website. Now the teacher can easily just give Bill a grade or he can also come in here and use the rubric editing tool to assess Bill based on the rubric criteria and click Save. Uh, teachers can provide feedback to students. They can just type comments right here or they can attach files or even record video and audio comments that they can share with the students. So when the teacher is done evaluating one student, they just click next and jump straight to the next student. So Todd Farner typed his assignment using the rich text editor. So we see a preview here just like with the Word doc. Uh, we can see the conversation that's already been going on between the teacher and the student and then the teacher can easily come in and grade Todd's submission. Now whenever a student's grade changes or the teacher gives feedback, uh, students will receive notifications. So as the grade was changed right here, Todd would receive a notification that his grade has been updated. If the teacher left him a comment, he can also receive that notification. And if he left a comment back for the teacher, then the teacher would see that message as well. So we click next so we can go now to Heather's submission for this assignment. Heather submitted a URL, so we give a teacher the original link and then also a snapshot of what the page looked like when the student submitted. Again, we make it easy with the rubric to score students. We also let the teacher provide detailed feedback on each row of the rubric if they want to provide more fine-grained pieces of information. And again, as this information is saved, notifications are sent out to the students via email, uh, SMS, to their Facebook page, or just to their dashboard according to their customization settings. So again, the purpose of the speed grader is to give the teacher a single page where they can see all students, who submitted and who hasn't, who still needs to be graded. They can get a preview for each student's submission of what they submitted. It's viewable in the web browser regardless of how it was turned in. And they can also easily grade the student and participate in a private conversation with the student, all from a simple, easy-to-use interface. 